Good afternoon, everybody. This is uh, Dan again, and I'm just going to do an overview of uh, just some of the features in Hoopla, navigating, searching, just kind of the basics, and I'll also check uh, something out so you can see how that process is done. Uh, I am logged into my uh, personal account, so <laughs> it may show you some of my favorites as I go through this. Um, so just so you know, um, it, that. Uh, so here we go. So this is the My Hoopla page. It's the home page you go to once you've logged into Hoopla. Um, so here it has this little banner thing that rotates and gives you some different ideas of things that you might want to check out. Um, it has your currently borrowed here. Right now it says that I can borrow four titles this month. Hoopla is doing a special thing where some of their checkouts won't count toward uh, your monthly borrows. Um, you can see your borrowing history. It will show you some recommendations as well. And it will also show you uh, some of your favorites that you may want to check out again. Um, so up here at the top bar, we have the Hoopla thing, which if you click on, will take you back to the My Hoopla page. You've got this My Hoopla dropdown, which will also take you back to the, this page. You can see your currently borrowed, your favorites, and your history. Um, then you have your browse here, and this gives you a little dropdown, uh, which will let you uh, browse based on a uh, type of material. So you have audiobook, movies, music, comics, ebooks, and television. Um, here, right here, if you click on this kids right here, it'll put Hoopla into kids mode. And so it will only show kid friendly material uh, if you are letting your kids pick their own material or if you just want kid friendly material. Um, so here you have uh, your settings. Um, so you can opt into, yes, I want emails. You can turn kids setting off or on in here, and you can also show or hide your borrowed history. Um, you can also change your library if you want to and edit your library card. Um, you can um, select your, uh, your recommendation settings here. So I've got my settings selected um, as kind of what I want to uh, have it show up for my recommendations. Um, and then you can change your email or your password. Um, as well, I apologize, I thought my phone was on silent. Um, so let's get into some of the browsing features. So we're just going to go back to my Hoopla here. Um, so the first thing is you have this banner here, um, so you can you know flip through it, and um, if you would like to click on the homeschooling feature, these are all bonus borrows from Hoopla, so you can see kind of what is available for you to bonus borrow as well. Um, but we'll go in here and we'll look at uh, eBooks today. Um, so. Any of the browse features will pop up a window very similar to this one, so we're just going to focus on ebooks for right now, but they'll all look exactly the same. Um, apologies for the noise outside my house. Uh, I live pretty close to the street. Uh, so we have uh, our format here, which is ebooks. Now, if you would search something, which I'll show later, it'll show you all of the formats that you can choose from based on that setting. Um, you have release date, so if you wanted to wanted something that was uh, re released in the last seven days, you could choose that, and it'll show you what's been added in the last seven days to Hoopla. Um, you also have a uh, date added, so uh, I'm going to rephrase that. Release is something that's been released in the last seven days. Date added is anything that's been added. Uh, within you know seven days, so all of these have been added within the last seven days, which are slightly different than the released in the seven days. Um, you can also browse by patron rating, so you can say you only want to look at materials that are uh, max star rating. Um, 
So these are all the ones that have uh, five stars only. And so then hopefully, you know, those are good books. Um, and as well, they also have a language option so you can uh, just browse books in. Um, if you wanted something in Spanish, you could just click Spanish and it would show you all the books that are available in Spanish. Um, and then the last thing is um, you can ask it to exclude abridged titles, which means that uh, you get uh, the whole material and nothing that's been abridged to make it a little shorter. Usually that's done with classics. Um, you can also click this and it will only show you, show you uh, children's titles um, as well. Um, next, um, I'll go ahead and go do a search here. Um, and we're going to actually search for yoga for beginners. Um, so here, uh, so as you can see, we have our format and we have audiobook, ebook, and television. Um, we only have one that was released in the last 12 months. And then we have stuff that's been dated six months or 12 months ago. If it's all older than that, it's not going to be on this kind of date added thing. We have our patron rating, and then we also have our language, and then we also have the children's titles only. Um, so that's kind of what it looks like when you search. You know, you can search for other things like James Patterson, because um, we know he's everyone's favorite author. <laughs> Um, and you can see that we have a lot of James Patterson audiobooks, but not many ebooks. So if you're an audiobook person and you like James Patterson, it might be worth checking Hoopla out to see if uh, they've got any good audiobooks you want to listen to. Um, but let me check something out so you can kind of see how the process of that goes. And I like yoga for beginners. It gets me all all ready to go in the mornings. Um, I really like Rodney Yee, so we're gonna select Rodney Yee. And just uh, for fun, I this is a bonus borrow, so it won't go toward my actual checkouts. And I'm gonna check out the morning session. So I just click on borrow. Um, I can play it now, but I, I won't play it right now because I don't have the rights to do that. But if I go back here to the My Hoopla page, um, right now, see it, uh, because this was a bonus borrow, it still says I have four titles left this month. Um, my Rodney Yee episode is right here of Yoga for Beginners. And then it gives me recommendations. And as you can see, my favorites and recommendations have changed a little bit. Um, if you have any questions, please give us a call, or not a call, I'm sorry, an email at library at newtonplks.org or uh, send us a private message on Facebook and we will get to you as quickly as possible. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again in the library as soon as possible. And uh, we want everyone to stay safe and enjoy your checkouts. Thank you, bye.